What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we are going to be doing another Manchester City transfer update because we are getting plenty of news coming in every couple of days or so. And so while there's news out there, I'll be distributing videos for you to look forward to. Of course when the summer transfer window does eventually open, I'll be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates so make sure you stay tuned for that. So, make sure if you want to help support my channel, then you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm aiming for 6,000 subscribers and at the time of recording this video now, we are less than 120 subscribers away. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also my social media links are in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or hit me up with any general business inquiries. Inquiries, of course, we've got daily Manchester City transfer updates coming up. Uh, and the videos will do very well for you, so good opportunity there if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos. Don't forget also, leave your thoughts in the comments below with what you think of this video and the tr potential transfers with Man City being linked with. And also, don't forget, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So, we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to start off, actually, with a new name. It comes in the form of Ferran Torres. Now, in this video, City are slowly but surely starting to get linked with more wingers and Ferran Torres is just one player that we are getting linked with. He plays for Valencia, he's 20 years old, however no fee has been mentioned uh, but apparently he's available to leave Valencia as he's entering next season into the last year of his contract and so Valencia are wanting to get some cash for him, much like the Leroy Sane situation with Manchester City. Now Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus uh, and also Manchester City are all interested in bringing in Ferran Torres. The only problem here is that Valencia, they've got a release clause uh, for Torres for 110 million euro. They know they're not going to get that, but with so much interest coming in from Barca, from Real Madrid, from Juventus, City, Man United's been mentioned, Liverpool's been mentioned too, with so much interest there from top quality European clubs, they're going to want to have a bidding war, and which means it's going to be expensive. Obviously, it's not going to be as much as 110 million euro. You're going to be crazy to pay 110 million euro for a 20-year-old player with one year left on his contract. So, It'll be interesting to see what happens here, but Manchester City's name, I found more interesting that we're start, slowly starting to get linked with more wingers, and Ferran Torres is just one of the players that we are getting linked with, and so read between the lines here, uh, I'm starting to uh, think here that Lira Sane potentially, more than likely, won't be a Manchester City player come the 2020-2021 season. The story with Ferran Torres has come via The Athletic and it isn't the most reliable of sources. But like I said, I'm finding it more interesting that we're now being linked with wingers when previously we've kind of only really been linked with Oyarzabal. So we're starting to have more players chucked out there. Now we've got uh, an update on Vinicius Tobias. Now he's been linked with Manchester City again. We was linked a couple of months ago for him. He's the young Brazilian 16-year-old right winger who plays for Internacional. Now, apparently, both Manchester clubs, so Man United and Man City, they're set to battle for him, according to several sources. And I did have a look around at all of these sources, and all of them seem quite unreliable. Uh, but apparently, it was being reported that Vinicius Tobias wants to go and chance himself in Europe, much like what Gabriel Jesus did. And so City's name being put out there with competition, of course, with Manchester United, who have no scouts and just like being linked with the same players as Manchester City do and then sign them for extraordinary prices and we end up laughing at them. That's kind of how things go in the transfer market. Now, moving on, we've got an update on a player that we've been tracking now for the last uh, what, six weeks or so, comes in the form of Nelson Semedo. Now, sources in Italy, they're saying that Barcelona want Cancelo in a swap deal with Nelson Semedo, and they want to use Cancelo as a swap for Lotoro Martinez, and Barcelona want to include cash on top of that swap, uh, that swap involving João Cancelo. Now, of course, um, the problem we've got here is I don't. We know Martinez is keen on a move to Barcelona, and we know that Inter Milan are very interested in bringing in João Cancelo. Conte is a big fan of him at Inter Milan, and Inter Milan do want um, João Cancelo, uh, and Barcelona do have some interest in having Cancelo. And so th th there's lots of little things starting to uh, creep in as the deal becomes a little bit more complicated as it would when you've got three players involved in a potential deal uh, in a little bit of a transfer merry-go-round. Now the first problem is Barcelona want to swap Cancelo 
for Semedo. Barcelona want £10 million as well as Cancelo for Semedo. And I don't see City doing that. So, there's the first problem. The next problem is Cancelo, if he signs for Barcelona but doesn't go to Inter Milan, apparently, uh, and, ba and Barcelona are more than happy to keep Cancelo, by the way, and Cancelo is more than happy to go to Barcelona. Barcelona were chasing his signature just last summer. He's going to be on a lot less wage than what he's on at Manchester City. And so, there's the next problem. And I can imagine a problem coming in the form of Inter Milan. Because I can't, ima I can't imagine them paying as much as what Manchester City are in terms of his wage. So, what's going to happen there with personal terms, it's going to be quite difficult. Now, Marsa in Spain, they're reported uh, that Manchester City, uh, they're not interested in swapping João Cancelo. It's not the first time, by the way, that I've heard this, that City are not interested in swapping Cancelo for Semedo, and Manchester City want to stick with Cancelo. I keep getting lots of contradicting reports. Like I said, there's been reports in England saying City are chasing Semedo, and I know City are interested in having a look at Semedo. Um, but like I said, there's lots of little things just hiccuping the deal and I, as from what it looks like, Man City are more than happy if no deal can be negotiated for Semedo to keep João Cancelo. Now you would think that Inter Milan, making logical sense here, would go after Semedo if they're looking for a right back because he's an alright player and so I can imagine Inter Milan chasing after him and making it a lot more... It's more simple and a lot easier for them to go after Semedo in a swap deal and cash deal involving Latoro Martinez. So, yeah. Um, but, like I said, we've got word from England. City are pot potentially having a look at uh, Semedo. So, uh, w what's going to happen? It's a confusing deal here. Um, my personal opinion, we've had a season of Cancelo. I think he's, I think he's an alright player. I'd like to see another season just so I can form... A, two seasons is enough time for me to form... A decent opinion on how good Jao Cancelo is going to be. And the problem we've had, and it's a good problem for City, but not a great problem for Cancelo, is that Kyle Walker's been fantastic for City uh, in the last season. Uh, and that's due to him having quality competition coming in for his place. It's forced Walker to up his game. And while he's upped his game, City would be more than happy to use him as our right back. And so it's up to Cancelo then when given the opportunity to, uh, to prove himself. And it's like I said, some game, he, he's been a bit quiet. He's not. He's challenged Kyle Walker for his position. Kyle Walker's up to his game, so it's up to Cancelo now to up his game to displace Kyle Walker and compete with each other. But, uh, yeah. So, at the moment, it doesn't look too positive in terms of Semedo coming to Manchester City, but I'm more than happy to keep Cancelo for another season to see how he develops and then go from there. Now, moving on, we're getting linked with Leon Bailey again. Uh, and this is really interesting. Just like Ferran Torres, we're getting linked with wingers. Now, Daily Mail, they've been reporting that Leon Bailey is wanted by Manchester City should Lee Rossane leave. There was no mention of price, but apparently uh, Leverkusen, they're wanting to cash in on um, Leon Bailey. And so Manchester City's name is being put out there. Uh, now, if Manchester City do want to sign Leon Bailey, we've got a good advantage in terms of um, personal settling and personal terms and stuff because uh, he is very good friends with Raheem Sterling, who, of course, is his Jamaican counterpart. And so we've got Agent Raz on the case, who I'm sure could have a word with Leon Bailey, and it'd help him settle, of course. Bailey, I, I think, can also speak English as well. Uh, and so the the cultural difference and him being able to come to England and settle uh, won't be as big a problem if you uh, already know people, you can speak the language and stuff, and so uh, it makes sense. Now, uh, sources at Bayern Munich have chipped in on this report from the Daily Mail uh, and said that apparently Leverkusen, they're looking for £50 million, which I personally don't see the fee being that low. I can imagine it being 60 towards 70 even towards £80 million, rather than looking closer to £50 million. But, if he is available for around £50 million, I can imagine City being very interested. He's a very dynamic, quick player, who I can see City being interested in. The only problem I have with £50 million is where the information has come from. Uh, the sources at Bayern Munich, they're told by the club, they're wanting to drill up interest for wingers to go to Manchester City, they're wanting people to believe more and more that Lee Rossane is going to become a player at Bayern Munich, and so if they're linking players from elsewhere, uh, and it makes sense doing it from another German club, getting rid of a good quality player like Leon Bailey, moving to England instead, they get Lee Rossane, Bayer Leverkusen uh, lose Leon Bailey, 
Bayern Munich are going to be very happy about that. And so they're just looking to drum up interest, drill up interest. Um, and if I'm completely honest, it's a bit weird. I find Bayern Munich's handling of the whole situation uh, a little bit weird. But that might just be how things are at Bayern Munich. Like We've never really had anything to speak about with Bayern Munich up till Leroy Sane, um, the interest coming in from Bayern Munich for him to join them. And then all of a sudden, uh, yeah, it's all a bit strange. But if there is legitimate interest... I'll keep an eye on that and bring you an update, I'm sure, in the coming days and in the coming transfer updates. But we're going to move on because we've got another interesting story. And it's a new name, a new centre-back, Bruno Fuchs. He's been linked with Manchester City now. He's a 21-year-old who plays for SC International in Brazil. He's valued, apparently... 15 million euro. It's affordable. Arsenal, AC Milan and Ajax... All the A's, they're interested in him apparently, along with Manchester City, according to a source in Brazil. We know City are looking for two centre-backs in the summer. One's going to be a young, quality player who lots of people probably haven't heard of and it wouldn't cost too much. And so this would make sense in terms of Bruno Fuchs. We know City are looking for a, an experienced, quality centre-back who I'm sure will cost a lot of money. And so this would be the other centre-back that potentially Man City are looking at. But Bruno Fuchs, a new name that's been linked with City. Now moving on to the out, we've got an update on DiMaggio Wright Phillips. He's out on loan at the moment, at this moment in time with Blackburn Rovers. According to the Lancashire Telegraph, Blackburn Rovers are wanting to make that deal permanent. Um, but apparently he's playing for Blackburn's under-18s team and not their first team. So... I'm not too sure what that's all about. Uh, he's a quality player, a young quality player coming through the City Academy. Of course, City produce an abundance of players and we know that 99% of players are not going to make it at Manchester City uh, when they're a young, uh, young young football player and so they end up going elsewhere and going to clubs like uh, Blackburn Rovers. So Dimaggio Wright Phillips might not even have to move or he wouldn't have to move too far because it's in the northwest of England as well. And so it would make sense for him if he was to leave permanently to go to somewhere like Blackburn Rovers. Uh, of course, no updates on the other player that's out on loan at Blackburn Rovers, Toshin Adara by yo, -Yo. Uh, Some fans, City fans, they're keen to see Adara by yo, -Yo be used by Manchester City. Uh, I can see that being true perhaps if City only sign one centre-back. If we sign two, uh, I'm almost certain that Toshin Odara Bayoya will at least be loaned out again next season or potentially sold permanently. No word if Blackburn are chasing him on a permanent transfer just yet. But I'll keep my eyes and ears peeled. Now moving on, uh, the Telegraph's been reporting that Newcastle are looking at John Stones again. Uh, now, my opinion on this transfer, there's a big difference between wanting a player and having an interest in a player uh, and actually signing and paying for the player. Now, this, of course, all hinges on Newcastle's takeover going through. The, the new, new owners at Newcastle, potentially, um, they're going to give Steve Bruce time, but apparently, long term, they're wanting to bring Rafa Benitez back. And so it's like the Mark Hughes situation at City back in 2008, pretty similar to that, where if he doesn't get off to a good start, he'll more than likely be replaced. And apparently, Rafa Benitez is that man. Uh, and while the Telegraph, don't know how, but apparently... The, they seem to have got information on uh, Rafa Benitez and Newcastle that uh, Rafa Benitez wants to bring John, John, Stones, uh, John Stones along with him to Tyneside. So yeah, my question to the people watching this video is, John Stones, how much would you sell him for? Personally, I'd be looking, if Newcastle are genuinely interested to get that takeover, they've got some money to spend, I'd be wanting as much of that £50 million that we spent on John Stones back in. But personally, uh, I think anything over £40 million, uh, I think would suit us. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Moving on, uh, last story of the update comes in the form of Claudio Gomez. Now, Swansea City and Girona are both interested in taking Gomez on loan in the summer. And that's for the season. That's according to Foot Mercato in Spain, who I've never heard of in my life. I don't know how reliable they are, but uh, a move to either Swansea or Girona would make sense for the development of Claudio Gomez. So there we go, that has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. There was lots, like I said, I'm starting to get lots of little bits of stories here, so it's allowing me to put out content more regularly for you guys. It's also allowing me to get uh, more information out there, so hence the video uh, videos over the last couple of weeks or so have been a little bit longer. But 
and getting lots of new, new stories there, so I'm bringing it to you guys. So don't forget, if you're interested in enjoying the content, make sure you help support my channel by subscribing, pressing that red button, and pressing the bell to put your push notifications on to be kept in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news and the latest news with anything related to Manchester City first and fast. Don't forget, you can also find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email. Also, in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos or any general business inquiries. And don't forget also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. And I'll see you all again for the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all again for the next Manchester City football video. So I've been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.